Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at this example over here. We are going to react to methyl 1-butene plus methanol to give us TAME, which is third amyl methyl ether. Let's feed everything at 7,000 kilograms per hour. Okay, now let's start. I am going to work on my DW sim. Let's add only our reactant compounds that we are going to need, which is 2-methyl 1-butene plus methanol. And this is because usually when I also add my product, it gives me some challenges with my feed composition. So I'm just going to add my reactants for now and add the products later. On. Next, configure your thermodynamic dynamic properties. Lastly, your system units. I created my special adjusted units under my name, of course. And the only unique thing here is that my pressure is set at bar, my flow rate at kilograms per hour, and my temperature at degrees Celsius. Once you're done, you can click finish. Let's add the material stream. For the material stream, you can choose or select your temperature. Be mindful of the boiling points of our compounds. Select the pressure. For the mass flow, let's go with 7,000 kilograms per hour. Compositions here, we are feeling everything at 50% each. So 0 0.5 of 2 methyl 1 butene and 0 0.5 of methanol. If you're happy, you can click until all salt. If your stream changes to blue, it means everything is looking great. Next up, let us add our Gibbs reactor. To start with our Gibbs reactor, the first thing first is to go to settings. Under compound section, let's add our product, which is third amyl methyl ether, also known as methyl third pentyl ether. If you're confused, it's always a good idea to check for the case number, starting with 994. You can just look at your thermodynamic properties if you ever wish to change them. You can always come to this tab here. Next, your reactions. Let us add the reaction. Title your reaction. Select all your compounds. Select the base compound. Add the stoichiometry. Remember that for the reactants, the stoichiometry coefficient will be negative 1 and for your product will be a positive 1. And Y1 in this case, our balanced reaction is the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 1. If this was a different case, then you would adjust the stoichiometry coefficients respectively or accordingly. If you're happy with everything, click OK. And exit everything. Next step will be to edit our Gibbs reactor. Now for the Gibbs reactor, the calculation mode, let us select define the outlet temperature and enter the temperature you wish to achieve for the liquid product stream exiting the reactor. Property package is the one that we set initially. For the compounds, make sure you select everything. Elements are added for us and also our connections have been connected and if they are not, you can just manually select and adjust them accordingly. You may click solve or press enter and once all your stream, including your unit, changes to blue, it means everything is looking great and solved. Let us include our distillation column. For this example, let us use the CAMSEP column. Let's have 33 stages. Select your pressure. Working with the simple distillation, let's work with the CAMSEP as well. You may click OK or exit. A CAMSEP table property will open, whereby now we can configure all our properties. Set all your thermodynamic dynamic properties. Set your pressure. I'm going to work at a constant pressure, whereby the condenser pressure will be at 2 bar and the total pressure will be as low as 0 0.2 bar. For start, let's not adjust the reflux ratio as of yet. Let's leave it where it is. Now that I'm happy, I'm going to click exit. Do connect your distillation column to the distillate material stream, bottom stream, and the feed stream. If you're happy with everything, you may run your file by clicking solve or enter. We can also add the property package table, including the temperature, pressure, mass flow, and all our molar fractions that we wish to freely observe as we work on our simulation. For now, don't be too concerned with what is solved on your distillate by just looking at it it's currently not making sense especially at the distillate we have way too much tame than we would wish to achieve but that's okay for now because we are not yet done let's continue and proceed by adding the second distillation column once you've added a distillation column do connect it to your streams your top bottom and your feed stream do edit the distillation column as well edit the number of stages the pressure and select the CAMSAP distillation. A second page will appear whereby you will need to configure all your properties, your pressure. You might also want to edit the column spec, but it's not necessary for now since this is our first trial. Should it give you challenges, this is something that you might want to come back and manipulate. You'll notice that we didn't change anything. The first distillation column and second distillation column are more or less cloned. Once you're happy with everything, do you exit and solve your file. Now that we are happy with our simulation so far, let us include a recycle stream that will recycle our second distillate back into the system. Right click, split and insert the recycled stream. You can also rotate your arrows however you wish them to appear. Include your mixer. 
connect all your streams accordingly and try and solve your simulation. After solving, my simulation was giving me a lot of errors and that was because I was confusing my streams. I had connected my distillate to way too many units. So if you can, label all your streams to avoid any confusion. That is actually a smart way to work. Connect your streams accordingly. Once you're happy with everything, label them accordingly. You can run your file. You might obtain some errors. Well, I did. And it's very important to try and read what the errors are telling you. So what I did is I basically went back to my property package on my simulation and just re-clicked on it. And for some reason around, my simulation did solve, although it did take some time, but it eventually did solve. I'm very much happy with the TAME found at both my distillate 1 and distillate 2, as well as at the bottom product 1 and bottom product 2. For the first distillate, we kind of achieved an almost 100% conversion of our TAME, but for the second distillate, it was just above 90, which is also not bad. If you want to, you can add another distillation color just to achieve a more pure third amount methyl ether on your bottom product again. But I'm definitely going to end here. Okay, I'm happy. Everything did solve and it's kind of making sense. If you do find an alternative way to solve it, feel free to share. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, bye.